I have to control it. Well, I guess we're live right now. We finally figured it out. Hello, everyone. Matt Blacklock here from Spruce Grove, Sunny Spruce Grove, Alberta. And I have my friends all the way from southern Manitoba, Gretna, about five feet from the American border, uh, more or less. Uh, yeah, I just want to chat about Eho Stadios and uh, Community Transformation Foundation. Uh, for those who don't know, you may have seen me do crazy events and try to get other people to do crazy events because our whole mentality is about overcoming with good, doing things that challenge you, that uh, you're good at to help others. So that's sort of our mentality in our ministry here in Canada and in Guatemala. And uh, we want to use our gifts to help others. And I have two lovely ladies that use their gifts all the time. And uh, so I'd like to introduce Donna. Can Donna, can you raise your hand? Which one's Donna? Donna there, there's Donna and her daughter Nadine. Class and they li they've uh, lived in Manitoba your, most of your life, I believe. A lot of your life? No, okay. But you live in Manitoba now. And uh, they've been to Guatemala, and Nadine's worked with, uh, down in Guatemala uh, with us and with other missions or organizations for many years. And uh, they did an event over this past weekend to help not only Eho Stadios, but another organization that uh, we partner with in Guatemala, Power at Work, friends of ours. And uh, first of all, I'd like to say, Donna, this isn't her first time doing something interesting. She ran a marathon over a few days, I believe, on a Wii Fit and had people raise money for her to run a marathon to help what we were doing with children in Guatemala a few years ago, maybe five, six, seven years ago. So that was awesome. So she's not new to doing crazy things. <laughs> So this time, uh, I wanted to uh, ask them uh, and just share uh, another person's perspective of how they can help people in other countries and what they did. So my question, first question is, what did, Donna, what did you and your family do? Okay. Well, I actually was um, Nadine and I and a neighbor, and we, we had planned a garage sale for the early part of spring and it didn't happen and so just the week before Labor Day I said to my neighbor I want to do a garage sale but I want to make it all about Guatemala and she hopped on board with lots of enthusiasm and along with her three grandchildren who had been to DVBS and caught a vision for helping the, the poor in another country and so they set up a little lemonade stand and <laughs> so buns and cookies and squares so and it was a great success so and we just did it by donation it was a garage sale by donation and uh, we're going to have another one in a couple of weeks I'm and you know I'm downsizing in our home in our old home and so I thought it would be a good idea to <laughs> okay awesome so it was more than just you it was your Neighbors and children. Yeah, you did mention about the lemonade stand. Was it a good lemonade? <laughs> well, yes, it was. <laughs> it was very tasty and very refreshing there, Matt. Yes, it was. <laughs> so my next question is, why did you do it? Why did I do it? Because I see, having been to Guatemala and, and um, moved along with you and saw God work and all of you down there, um, I just, we just really want to be I a part of really God's eternal kingdom work, part of God's kingdom work. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And question number three, what, when you look at the programs, cause you've seen whether you've experienced it firsthand or, uh, seen what we do online or videos, what value or importance do you see that Eho Stadios is, uh, doing in families? How are they impacting families? I think it's because we're in the community and we're supporting the families of the community and bringing in programs that benefit everybody. 
So you're benefiting the kids who can further their education, which will also bring in money for the family to give to prosper them, and give them confidence and security. And I think that that is what's growing in that community right now. Awesome. And final question, how can others help support or give? How, what, what can they do? Well, it's like you said, Matt, use what you're good at. Yep. <laughs> use what you're good at. We've done bake sales and garage sales and marathons on weeds to support the cause. So but give whatever you're talented at, use that and help support Guatemala and Hijos de Dios. We also have your little CASA banks that we put money in and support. So I don't know if how many people have awesome. one. Of oh, should I go get one and show it? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, for those who don't know, the Classens are amazing bakers. I've experienced their food. I wish I could experience it more. That's what, yeah, there's one of our little houses that we made. Uh, it's a piggy bank, basically, and uh, overcomer. And for those who have them, remember, yeah, the overcomer events. Put some change in there, and you can help. So, so those are some things that uh, these ladies have uh, and their friends and families have participated participated in. And over the years, many people have uh, through a variety of different uh, sporting events, music, cooking, baking, uh, garage sales. Uh, cutting hair, I could go on and on. There's so many uh, abilities that people have to help others. And uh, our mandate or our, my, my life motto is use what you're good at to help others and inspire others to use what they're good at to help others. So uh, we all have something that we're good at, that we're talented, that we can do that's better than other people or that uh, we can join with other people to do and, and use it to help others. So going to close off and the way that you can help you can donate you can do a fundraiser you can pray you can talk to us about joining with us uh when things are a bit easier down in guatemala um so i want to thank nadine and donna for all their hard work and supporting us and uh, i know it's more than just uh money it's through your prayers and through uh actually participating on the ground in Guatemala, uh, helping people. And we look forward to seeing you guys down there more. Um, if you want more information, I'll, uh, you can check out overcomewithgood.ca. That's our website. And uh, so thank you, Donna. Thank you, Nadine. Um, if, if, if you're able to send some pastry in the mail, I will always take some. Right. So I'll, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for, for uh, doing this with me and have a great day. Bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.